what is up everyone welcome and or welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is mara thank you so much for stopping by today we're going to be doing a wash day routine for protective styles um particularly a wig style um i'm going to be wearing that for a few days so i'm going to be braiding up my hair and i'm just going to show you guys my process in doing so but today we're going to be washing with that pantene rose water shampoo conditioner and deep moisture mask and y'all let me tell you i know that i say that there are some shampoos and conditioners that are just the best and i can't live without but i honestly think this line right here like i think this one takes the cake like i think this i think it's honestly one of my favorites and this is my very first time using it i bought it like last week a week and a half ago and i've just been waiting to use it and now i think i think i like it i think it's my favorite now before we get deeper into this video again if you are new welcome please be sure to subscribe down below and yeah let's just let's just get right on into the products all right so first things first i went in with the shampoo i actually washed my hair twice because i had a lot of gel in my hair and we need to get it out um, so the second product I used was the Rosewater Deep Moisture Mask. And let me tell y'all, when I put that shampoo in, like, it didn't, like, dry my hair out or anything like that. So that was fine. It was what? It was good. Okay. So I went in with that mask, and as soon as I got to rubbing it in, like, I felt the slip, and it just, like, it just, it just melted into my hair pretty much. And I let that sit in my hair for the majority of the time that I took my shower. And then when it was time for me to take it down, y'all. After I took my hair down to rinse the mask out of my hair, and I looked at the mirror that I have in my shower, just the actual look of my hair in person, it looked just like so hydrated, it looked so moisturized, and that's why I made that face because I didn't even like touch my hair after I let it sit like I just looked at it and it looked good and y'all know that like with some deep conditioners when you put it in your hair there's like slip and it makes your hair soft like when you put it in but when you go to rinse it out it's like it d didn't really do anything for your hair like I had some deep conditioners that just felt like that and this one definitely did not do so my hair was moisturized when I put it in and when I rinsed it out and to be honest with you, I felt like this was the softest I've ever felt my hair with the deep conditioner even. My cream of nature, like that one is amazing for when I deep condition my hair with steam. But this one, literally, as soon as I put it in, like it was just like instant softness. And I am not, I'm not being paid to say this. I'm not joking with you guys. Like so moving on to the conditioner, like that mask it was hydrating it was moisturizing and it really did help my hair with the detangle like the mask it helped the detangle but the conditioner it also helped as well because i really didn't have to do that much work when i turned the water off um but all in all these products out on a scale of one through ten they probably got like a 12 12 point fifteen ish and i feel like with some naturals from what i've heard they just choose not to use pantene because i guess they don't like the brand but if you're someone who's looking for a cost-effective shampoo, conditioner, and mask, all of these products, they were under $10. And you know, you know, if you normally use all natural hair products that got all natural ingredients, you know that it's hard to find products that is under $10 that works. So I'm not telling y'all to run out and get it, but I do recommend trying it in the future because the results and what I was feeling it was, it was honestly like no other shampoo collection or line or brand that I've tried so far. All right, so I don't believe the brand has a leave-in conditioner. So I actually used my aloe vera gel, which was in that spray bottle. So I did a slight lame check using the exact same section that I used from the wash day with the aloe vera um, video. So as you guys can see in the first video, it hit right above my hip bone. Um, now you can see that it's just a very small tad bit under my hip bone, under the start of my hip bone. So you can definitely see that there was some growth there, but for both of the length checks that I did so far with the aloe, um, I did do it on wet hair, obviously because I was styling my hair those days, but hair also has 
a little bit more stretch to it. It has, it's a little bit more elasticy when your hair is wet, so you can get more of an accurate depiction as to how much your hair is growing or if your hair is growing when it's wet. All right, so quick disclaimer, I am not a hair braider. I've, I don't even think I've ever cornrowed my hair before. When I wore a wig in the past, when I was natural, my mom used to braid my hair, but please do not critique my braids too hard. I am not a professional. I barely know what I'm doing. Like I said, I, sometimes I get illiterate when it comes to my hair. So again, do not judge my struggle braids because that's exactly what they are. Another quick disclaimer aside from my braids, please do not judge my eyebrows. It's been a long two, three months of quarantine and that's why they look like they do. So again, disregard the brows. Okay, so we got our struggle braids. Now we're gonna go in with Dax Super Grow. And I used to use this stuff, or my mom used to use this stuff all the time on my hair growing up with my braids, with my protective styles for relaxed hair. She used to use it. And she swears up and down that it actually grew my hair back when I had a ringworm. And I honestly do think that it grew my hair back. So that's why I still continue to use it. But we're only applying it to our scalp. Next, we're gonna be going in with the main choice restorative spray and I only use this for the smell and because it actually cools my scalp down so mm, that's the bomb product to use and then we're gonna seal all of that moisture in with some oil people don't like oil but I like oil and my hair likes oil so we're gonna use some oil today so once we finish adding all of our products in, this is how the struggle braids came out it honestly doesn't look too bad from the side but when you look at it from the back <laughs> big beat you don't want it but these will do as long as they fit under my wig cap. Guys, I do hope you liked this video and I do hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one.